How to quickly link part one to your PC, new and old work files and folders, 16th of November 2019. I love a promotions production. Right, hi everyone. Are you like me and you do some stuff on the computer, you save it all, it's all there, it's all saved, and then a few days later, you want to go back to what you were doing, but your brain's gone. <laughs> you can't remember where you saved all the files and things that you'd done. Well, here's a way so that you can save this to your desktop and no, it'll tell you this, this will be a single link. You'll click on it or copy and paste it to the address bar and it will take you to where all your files are that you've been working on. And this is the easiest way to access and get to your files when you can't remember. Where did I save it to? I can't remember. So the first thing we're going to do is make a file on in documents somewhere or on the desktop. I'll, I'll do it on the desktop. Just a quickie to let you know, I suffer with dyslexia, I can't spell to save me life, so you're going to have a good laugh at my spelling. <laughs> Desktop, and we're going to make a folder. As you see, I've made one today, for what I was doing today, um, as well. And it just pops in my head. Well, if I can do that, why can't other people do it? And, it, and it'll help them. So first off, um, I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to name it how to remember. How to R-E-M-E-M-E-R. I forgot how to spell it how to remember. Right, now that's a folder we created, a new folder. So that should be on the desktop. Let's go and have a look. How to remember, here it is. I'll pull it out to the middle so you can see it. How to remember. Now then, within how to remember, we need to make a Word document. Now, People, some people are going to go, I haven't got Word. Well, you have, because you've got WordPad. If you go down to the search and just type Word, W-O-R-D, you'll see it pops up and says WordPad. Click on WordPad, and we've now got a WordPad. And we're going to type in here, how to R-E-M-E-M-B-R. Where, w -H, where my sixteenth, uh, sixteenth, t h n o v November twenty nineteen work is right. So whatever I've been doing, I'm going to be able to remember where it is by adding it to this file. So first off, we've now got to save what we've got here. We want to go, I'm going to go and call this file that. So I'm left clicking and dragging and highlighting, going right click and then copy on the blue, right clicked on the blue like that and then copy. And that's what I'm going to call this file. But now we want to save it in how to remember. So file, I'm going down to save as, I'm not clicking it. I'm now moving up to rich text document. And it's going to ask me where it is. And we're going to go on the desktop, how to remember. It's now up there. I'm now going down to name the file. I've one left clicked on there. And now I'm going control 
and V, that's C, T, R, L on the keyboard and the letter V. And that was in the memory because we copied and pasted it. So it was still in the copy and paste memory. And we can say save. So this file, what we've got now, is there. Now, how do we remember where this file is? Well, we've got the date to say 16th of November, but if I was working on something specific, I would put the name of the file here. And I would have called it whatever the name was, where my 16th November work is, or whatever you're going to call it. Now, the next thing we want is the link to where this file is saved. Now, I don't know where this is saved, or I do know where it's saved, but I want the actual address. So let's close, and oh, I've got two open. Close that one. Let's go into how to remember, back to the desktop, how to remember. There's the file. I'm just going to change the view to list so we can see what we're doing. Now, I, this is in how to remember, but I want to copy how you get to here. So I've left clicked once and now I'm holding the left click button down, dragging along it, making it all go blue. I'm now going to right click on the blue. And I didn't quite do it. There we go. Right click on the blue and go copy. OK, now I'm going back down to the taskbar and open up the Word document, the WordPad document. I'm going to hit Control and V. Or I could have gone right click and paste. But I didn't. I used Control and V. And there is the, the address of where this file is. So now I know that I've got this, and this, this bit of information is still in the copy and paste memory at the moment, I can open it up. But if, let's prove it. If I close this, it'll ask me to save it. I'm going to say save. I'm going to close that. And this is most of the time you switch on and it's on your desktop. But if you haven't saved a, a copy of this how, uh, quick link, which this is, and you know how to get to it, there is another way if it's not on the desktop. Because you have the quick link, like this one is mine. This is my quick link to what I've been doing today. And it's how to quick link to YouTube 16th of November. And where's it saved? It's in C user John documents my YouTube. Now I'm going up to the address bar, clicking paste, and see it says now my YouTube where all the files and things are. And there was a quick link to my YouTube. So I now know where everything is. By clicking on there, it's in C user John's documents, my YouTube 2019. This is all about copy and paste and making sure you get it right. Okay. How to YouTube quick links. Let's open that up. What's in there? Look, videos. Videos are in there on how I'm making this. And that's where everything is. Now, this isn't to do with YouTube. Go back up. But YouTube, I want, I, I, couldn't remember how to get to my subscribers list. 
I've watched the videos and forgot how to do it. So I made a quick link to get to my subscribers list. Now, first off, if you notice down here, I'm not on the internet. So if I was to click Google, it would come up just with the first screen that's saved in the computer, it wouldn't manage to um, go online. But my subscribers, I have available offline. Now I prove this, click my subscribers, HTML. Wait for it to come on. And this is going to be the next lesson. I'm going to teach you how to do this. And there you go. I'm offline. If I go click on here, new tab, Chrome, local, blah, blah, blah. It's sitting there. It looks like I'm online. Well, let's go for YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel. No internet. See? I'm offline. But I've got access to all my subscribers. Now, how did I do that when I'm offline? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that in the next lesson. But back to what we were doing. And that's how to remember. And all you've learned so far, oh, all you've learned so far is a bit about copy and paste. And where this file resides and that's what this one was about is knowing where your file resides what you're going to do how to remember where my 16th of november 2019 work is and as you can see this is all we've got to create first and it's on the desktop and it's in how to remember and this is what you're going to go and do. You're going to go and create this so that the next time we go online, you'll all be saving everything to exactly where I'm saving it. And you know, make life a lot easier. So there you go. We have got step number one, part one. Of making quick links and how to remember where you store your stuff on computer that's the first lesson now the second lesson is going to be quick links for YouTube and quick links for wherever you store stuff if you make one of these files for every single um, thing that you do every day you go on so, right, I'm saving this here. Remember, we just copy and paste onto your reminder Word document. Just copy it into that. And then when you save then and save that on the desktop, yes, your desktop's going to get crowded, but your desktop has got, that's all you need is this folder on your desktop. Nothing else. Okay. So, like, subscribe, share, uh, comment, and um, now for a message from Robert S. Nerden. Cheers, my friends. I was about clicking that like button and the subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell. Only your work reminders allows you to relax after work. Performance and copyright C for the sound and the video tracks belong to www.lovelypromotions.com 16th of November 2019. That's your lot. Have a great day out there.